Okay, so this is the most recent update of Path of Titans. Quite a few little updates have gone in for the demo, and so far it is still the character customization only. So I noticed the world doesn't shake a little bit when you load in this time, which is nice. They've also added in more information for your characters. So I have Water Nester, a male Sukumimus, and the type of Sukumimus it is. I assume for the ones who have different types, like the Allosaurus, the Europaeus, which is the spiked guy. I don't think I have another Allosaurus saved. But they also have the Fragilis and Amplus. So, from my last video, quite a few skins have been added. I know that when I did my first video, the backer skins haven't been added, but they have now been added. So here is the Allosaurus backer skin. It seems like it still takes a little bit for some of these skins to load in. Um, you also see down here where you can see what, what these skins are from. So like this one is a backer. I know that the skins have are color coded as well so they're color coded based on their rarity for in game and then if it's a backer skin and then if it's a partner skin let me go double check because i do not remember what rarity is which So the white boxed ones are commons, the green boxed ones are uncommon, blue is rare, it doesn't look like Allosaurus has any, but I know some of them have it, so Serato has one, blue is rare, purple is legendary, cyan is a partner, which I think they've actually recently changed to yellow, so yellow is actually a partner, because you can see down here these community skins they were from. Red is the backer skins. And then they also have a charity event currently going on, which will have a skin uh, connected to it, which will have a pink, which will have a pink border. And then uh, there was a chance to buy unique skins to create for you or your friends. And those will be orange blocked. So it's very neat to see them now. Of course, not all of these are going to be unlocked when uh, the game actually comes out because the partner skins are something you grab from the Alderaan store or from the Indiegogo. The backer skins were also from the Indiegogo and the game store uh, crowdfunding. But the new skins, the partner skin definitely looks really nice. Um... And female looks also really nice. You still get a lot of color choice with some of these skins. Like, even though female's always a little duller with most of these skins, um, there's still plenty of color for me to be pretty happy. Because even though I like playing, I prefer to play a female dinosaur. Just because I prefer to play a more camouflage dinosaur. I still like to have a little color choice, and you can still get some good colors. The backer skins uh, are being updated as, uh, I think, as they are told what people are wanting. Because currently, I know most all of the partner skin, or I shouldn't say backer, partner skins. Most of the partner skins are going to have um, skins for multiple dinosaurs when originally they only had one dinosaur. So there was a crowd, there was the crowdfunding unlocked multiple skins for other dinosaurs. So like. I know this backer here has a skin for the Allosaurus and currently the Serato also was added. So he's got a couple of his skins in here. Most of these skins look, still look pretty good. These are part of the originals. This one is one of the partner skins, which actually looks really neat 
when the original skin concept seemed really bright they actually put it it's not super obnoxious and I like it and then there's this one for this partner skin this one is one of my favorites it's got a lot of color on it and I like it a lot and it's pretty unique pretty detailed I like it a lot Oh, you can also now zoom in and out to get a better view on your dinosaur. Which I very much appreciate so I can get a better look at some of the bigger dinosaurs because they didn't quite fit into frame. Uh, Serato got quite a few more skins. This is the Serato's backer skin. And then this is the Serato partner skin for this partner. And it looks very nice. I actually like this skin a lot. I'm not a big fan of blues, but it looks really good. I don't think any of the dinos other dinosaurs have gotten their different types yet. Suko got quite a few skins. And uh, now that I can zoom out, I can actually fit all of them in a frame. This one's one of my favorites. It looks very camo-y. So a, a good skin to use for like blending in because it's very broken up. This skin uh, is very nice looking. I love that it's got like this meteorite type. Oh, also there is names for these skins now loaded in. Doesn't quite have as much variation as some of the other ones, but it still looks really good. Um, this one is the redneck one, which I think is a hilarious name for a skin, but it, very, it fits pretty well. Um, I do love that you can kind of make a purpley dinosaur. Purple is one of my favorite colors. And you just make them look all kind of purple, and I love it. This is another one of this, this backer skins, or this partner skins. It's a little different, most of his skins have been blue, but this one's orange and it looks very nice. This is the Suko Mimus backer skin. And then this is a new common skin that was added. Kind of simple looking, but I really like it. I love the bright, yellow, the bright, colorful belly, and you can go a couple different colors with it. This one is the Storm Skin, which is very, very neat looking. Lots of stripes, lots of detail. Very pretty. Almost icy looking, like it just came defrosted. And then this is a, another partner skin for this partner here. I think this is the only skin currently in the demo for this partner. It's also very stripey. Most of it's on the top here. And then the des the, the Desplito. I can finally fit him fully into frame. He got quite a few skins as well. I'm pretty sure this one wasn't the on the first video. The very spotty skin, I like it a lot. It's be good, very very good for trying to blend in. Uh, there's this skin that has been added. It's like a, it almost looks like magma. It's a red garnet, but it looks kind of like lava, and I I really like it. This one has is very stripy. Its colors are very neat. It's not one of my favorites though, but it is very cool looking. And then quite a few backer skins were or partner skins, sorry, partner skins were added. This is this this partner's skin for the Despleto. It's very 
interesting looking. The shading's a bit dark, but you can pick a color that kind of softens that out. Just so it's not as dark. Uh, this is this per this community's partner skin. It's very very colorful. It reminds me a lot of like splattered paint, like a really really abstract splattered paint type of painting. They've also added uh, idols when you're messing around. Uh, so they'll do different calls and different idle animations. This one is very, very edgy. This is a very edgy Despleto, and it's really neat. This is this backer, this partner's uh, skin. Uh, got that black, red, and white motif. It's very cool looking. Very dangerous looking. This is the backer skin for the Despoto. And I like this one. I think I like this one out of all of the all of the three of them. This one's probably my favorite pattern. And then this is this partner's skin. And it's very colorful, very neat looking. And like you could do a heavy, heavy striping or do a more sparse. It looks very cool. I like the colors. Uh, Raptor hasn't gotten as many skins as some, uh, sorry, the, lat the Latin hasn't gotten as many skins as some of the other dinosaurs. Um, it did get this, this skin here, which is kind of a natural looking skin, which I really like. It's very subtle. Um, I always feel that the smaller you are, the less necessary it is to be really fancy with skins, as it's a little more difficult to see them. When you go too heavy fancy, this is the backer skin for the Latin. Not my favorite of the, la of the backer skins, but it still looks pretty good. And then this was one of the crowdfunded dinosaurs, and originally it had this skin, which is very colorful. The female version is still pretty colorful as well. Uh, it's a poison dart one, which is, is meant to be pretty colorful. And then this will be one of the common skins starting off for this dinosaur. And the male is just a little brighter, the female is more green. I do like the female over the male on this one. And then this is the newest skin to be added. And each of these crowdfunded dinosaurs, as far as I know, uh, will have three initial skins uh, and then more will be added at a later date. The poison dart's pretty cool, but I think this one is probably one of my favorites. Just because there's, I, I like the detail on it, and it'd be a really good blending skin. And then this is the second to newest, because there's the newest one is the Eotrike, and I'll show that in a minute. Uh, this was the original starting skin with Skink, and this one's probably my favorite. Uh, I have a couple, as you guys can already see. And then this skin was just added recently. It's one of the uh, parts of the most recent patches. It's very neat looking. Lots of blues. The female, I actually haven't seen the female yet, is more greens. Uh, this one is probably my favorite. I like it a lot. It's very pretty. Probably this one. Very nice looking. Alrighty, and then we'll go over to herbivores. Lambio did get a few new skins. This is one of this partner skins, so this is the second one of theirs. Uh, and 
I already know that it's based off of the collared lizard and it's awesome that they put it on one of the bigger dinosaurs which is so neat we'll switch over to the male really quick so you can see how bright it is on the male it's super colorful this is the backer skin for the Lambio. Which I think I like this one the most for it. This one's my favorite version of the Lambio. It's very neat looking, I love it. And then this is one of the newer skins added on, which is a very beautiful blue crest skin. I love the pale, kind of delicate look to it. The Campto got a couple new skins. Uh, this new common skin, I think. Which is a pretty speckled skin. Not quite one of my favorites. Kind of red, white, and bluey almost. This is the backer skin, which I think is probably going to be one of my favorites for this species. Cantho is not exactly my favorite out of all the dinosaurs. It's cute, but it's not quite my favorite. It's probably on the bottom of my list of dinosaurs. But I mean, I just love dinosaurs. <laughs> and then this is one of the newer ones, the blue head skin, which it's really neat that it has this like stripe in the center of it and like this is the only one that kind of covers it but the other ones kind of leave it bare which is which is kind of neat looking the strachio got a few more skins uh it's got this really neat blue skin i think what's what it wasn't on there before and then it got this white rim skin, which is super, this one right here with the face is super neat looking. And then here is the backer skin. I'm not quite sure why some of the calls aren't quite seeming to go through. Alright, and then we'll jump over to the Struthio. Struthio didn't get too terribly many new skins added to them. Um, that's the lace skin. This is the backer skin. Which, they're pretty neat. They're not quite my favorite of the backers. This one's probably my favorite of these three. Uh, this Kookaburra skin is gorgeous looking and you can do quite a quite a bit of color variations on it like there you can do some pinks you can do kind of a purpley then you can do kind of blues uh, like a bright purple have some teals and they have like a little bit of colors to go with all of them let's see let's do that one very neat looking. You can do a lot of lot with it. And it's super pretty looking. It's probably my favorite skin. The Stego definitely got quite a bit. Uh, quite a few skins added to them. This cute little skin was added and it's the this WWD partner skin. which I think is a very neat skin. I like it a lot. I like the colors. Even though they're really bright, they work really well. And of course, you can make it darker. You can see some of these other colors in here. Uh, this green skin, just because I kind of have a preference for green skins, skins that blend in and stuff, uh, is probably one of my favorites. And I love the dark stripes. This is another one of the partner skins. This one doesn't have quite as much variant with the patterns. It seems like just this part seems to change, which is totally fine. I have a more subtle change to it. And then this is the backer skin. Oh, 
Which, some of the, these two, this one's probably my favorite, but the other two are okay. But this one's probably my favorite. The Boris Boldia is another one of the crowdfunded dinosaurs. And it has its three skins. And then it's got this bison skin, which is a very nice natural looking skin. And then of course, one of my favorite set of skins, which is the cow skins, which are just too cute. They're super neat. And then it has this zebra skin, which is an extremely bright colored skin that you can do quite a bit with. You can mess around with quite a bit of colors and make it just the most interesting looking Bars will do. Like you can do like golds here and go over here and make like the underbelly like be orange color. Make this red or like a pinkish. And then we'll turn this brown maybe. And then make this as pale as color. It'd be a gray. There you go. What an interesting, what an interesting set to work with. <laughs> and then this is the brand new dinosaur that was uh, just finished, modeled, and added in. It's the Eo Triceratops. They are very large. I think they're they are bigger than the Despleto. And it has this very beautiful jungle skin. Which is very nice because I love me some green skins. And then it has this skull skin. It'll have one more skin added to it. Which has a very neat front face. And then there's this one here. Which is just really, really cool looking. And it's a lot of reds and browns for this one, so it's not as much a variant, but it still looks really neat. And of course, there's no other typing. And the female has a duller brown for theirs, which is almost the colors of like the backer skins. And then just a really dark, pale coloring to the skull skin. So, I mean, they fixed a little bit of the loading. Some of the skins still take a little bit of a uh, while to load. They've added in the, uh, the backer skins, the partner skins. A whole bunch of dinosaurs got new skins. We've gotten new dinosaurs from the crowdfunded dinosaurs, from the crowdfunding and the Indiegogo. We've got some more information on your character for the character selection. Um, they've put in a zoom in and out. There's been um, some fixes to some of the loading. There's been some fixes, uh, some minor like touch fixes. But I mean, it's still a great character selection. Very easy to navigate, very easy to, you know, make a new dinosaur. Um, the character selection screen, the scrolling up and down seems to, you know, once you get to the bottom of the list and the top of the list, it'll just start scrolling your in-game camera for your character character selection but other than that I don't think I have any real complaints on it it's a great character selector easy to navigate easy to use there's now a whole bunch more uh, skins and creativity put into the game and it's just looking really good uh, it's nice to know which skins will be really easy to find and which skins will end up being very difficult to find so you can you can aim for something like these twos will be common, and then these will be um, uncommon, so they'll be a little harder to find. And then you've got like these really neat skins for things like this one, which is like the hot that hot rod allosaurus look, which will be like extremely difficult to get a hold of. But I guess we'll see where it goes. I know the crowdfunded dinosaurs are being added in all the time. 
um, they're getting added in very quickly which is just amazing and it's so it's so interesting to see them as they update this carrot this demo and the character creator to see the dinosaurs that have been added in the concavenator is probably one of my favorites probably as soon as it's available for play I'll probably be playing it like crazy because it's it's just so neat looking I love the little hump on its hip it's just an interesting looking dinosaur and it's kind of small very cute looking I like it a lot but yeah I mean things look great I mean I'm not having any problems with the character creator and I'm excited to see what happens next. Uh, I will make another video if there is more dinosaurs added into the character creator or if the next part of the demo is added in. Um, until then, dinosaur people, I will see you all next time.